Hi everybody. This is going to be a tutorial about how to do ternary form in composition. So I'm going to go to empty project. I'm going to choose that. And I'm just going to choose an audio. Doesn't matter what it is. It's going to be deleted. Open my loops. And the first thing asked for is the track arrangement. So I'm going to do that here. Add, add, add. And then I'm going to actually zoom out here. So I can just close this up. And I'm going to zoom in. And then clean it up. There we go. Now I have my view here. If I hold down control and then click. Actually I can just go to rename. Rename. A. Click on it. B. You don't have to hold control. Sorry I was wrong. Rename. A. <clears throat> there we go. I have a basic setup of the ABA, which is the ternary form. So the first thing I have to do is then let's find one base. All right. You could go in any order, but I'm going to go in the order of what's said there. So I'm going to type in base. All right. And let's see what I have here. Sure, why not? And there's these are like loops. So I have base one, two, three, four. I can't use the step pool side base because it only has one of them. That's not a like loop to create the ternary form that we want here. So I'm going to do that. Drag it out to my magical A. Then I'm going to choose another one, three. Now I'm not even listening to this because, um, oops, Command Z. I'm not I'm not listening to this because I am just doing this to show you how to do it. But you should be listening to yours to make sure it goes together. So there it is. I have my two. Sorry, has number two. Has number three. Number two. So this is A B A. Now, make sure that the thump bass is on one line here. So I'm now going to choose a guitar. I think it's next. Yep, guitar. <coughs> That's right, folks. This is unedited. Here goes guitar. That's boring. Okay, we'll do that. New line. Huh. And then let's do that. And then I could go back to, if this is seven, right? I could go back to seven and then put it up here. And then, of course, drag it out. Or I could just copy and paste this into that. Then you need a piano. Oops. All right, so I'm just going to type over here piano. Oops. Piano. All right, what do we have here? That's going to be fun. If it's blue, it's audio file. If it's green, it's MIDI. Just FYI. I'm just going to do this. Copy. Paste. Let's see what we have so far. Very interesting. And then I have to do the last one I have to do is a beat. So I could type in percussion or let me go to instrument actually here. And I'm going to go to all drums. And then what do we have here? I'll, I'll go somewhere in the middle. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And of course, it's blue, so it's audio. And then you have this. I'm going to Command C, copy. Oops, Command Command Z, undid that. Command C, copy. And then Command V, paste. So I have, and I'm, I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to just backspace this out. I have a bass, I have a guitar, I have a, a piano, and I have a machine. And they each have an A section, they have a B section, they have an A section. So what do I have to do next? Well, I have to click on Mix Create Volume Fade Out. So I'm going to go to Mix, and I'm going to create a track automation, I'm going to create a fade out, boom, and then when you play it, It's going to have that little fade out that it has right here. There we 
There, it's going to eventually fade out. There it goes. For my taste, this this little guitar might be overpowering. I'm actually going to bring this back a little. Because it's not the feature, really. It's kind of the piano that's doing its thing. That's just a little thing. You, you don't have to do that, but I did it. All right, I have my A, B, A. I'm going to make sure this piano roll goes away. All right. And then I have my... I have all the information I need here. What is the next step? I'm, of course, is... Oh, we're going to bounce it down. So, file, bounce project or section. All right. I'm going to make sure MP3 is selected, not PCM or anything else, but MP3. I'm going to go right ID3 tags. I'm going to name this song title. Let's say Groovy. I'm going to name it Groovy. Luvy. It could be anything, right? But name it something. Groovy Luvy. I'm going to copy this. And the artist, of course, is Mr. Mayberry. Or I could put John David or DJ someone. Doesn't matter. Album. I'm just going to make up my album name because it's fine. The Way of the Glass. Title that, right? And then, track number, let's say that this is 01. And I'm going to push OK. And then I'm going to push OK again. And then I'm going to name it, of course. I copied it earlier, Groovy Luby. Desktop, Bounce. Next, I'm going to take a screenshot. Let's see if it's there, first of all. Groovy Luby. I can play it right off here. Let's see if that matches here. Yep, it's good. All right. And then I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I'm going to push Command Shift and I'm going to push 4. If you notice when I did that, this little thing comes up. If you take a look at my cursor bar, and I'm going to select the place I want to take a picture of. And I'm going to take a picture of this, just this right here. That's all I need. Of course, you could push Command Shift 3 if you want. You slow click and sound, and you see screenshots. But I'm going to rename this. I'm going to rename it Groovy Luby. And that way I know. Um, something you could do, though, if you wanted to do this as well, to remember what project it is, you could name it 2.06 Groovy Luby if you wanted to, but we don't have to. I think the most important part is this project. When you do save it, is go to File, and then... Um, there's Logic Pro. File, save as, and then name it um, 2.06. And then I could name it Groovy Luby, of course, here too, if I want. And you can save this under Logic and Bounces, but I recommend desktop and then organizing it later. That way, if you name it 2.06, and if you take a look at the project, it's 2.06, you can go right to it. You don't have to look for it. Like, what did I name it? Or, I don't know, ternary form or whatever. Uh, what could even be better is you name it 2.06 ternary form composition. That actually would be better. Command C, tab. There we go. I didn't, guess I didn't copy it properly enough. Command C, Command V. There we go. And then you know that this is your composition project. So if you have something that you need to change or you didn't do something right, and we say that in private chat of the. A Google Classroom, we can fix that. Save, bada bing, bada boom. Now I gotta turn it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, of course, go to instructions, and when you have a thing where you're doing this, you have a way to turn it in. It'll look very much like, you don't have to go to edit, but it'll look very much like this. And then you just take these two things, groovy loovy, and you drop them in here, and then you upload. All right, and then I will upload this to give you an example of what it's like. to do this project and what it sounds like and then I'm going to type in three sentences of course and make sure that here's some sentence starters if you want but it must be three to five sentences on what your composition thought process was do not use I like I did this I did that make sure it's this composition was created in order to take out all the I I did this I did this to make it more sounding like an academic person talking about their composition all right 
Well, thank you very much. This has been a tutorial on how to do ternary form. And I don't know how to stop this. Oh, wait, that's Logic Pro. Bam. Quick time player. All right. And stop.